This video explains the structure of the files and folders in the BotPress server repository. You can get the BotPress server repository from this URL address. I have it already downloaded. Also, I have the same repository but with the build version of the server. There are some folders that are added during the build. I'll also tell you about them. So I'll tell you about the files and folders that are located in the root uh, of the repository and about some nested folders and files also, those that are the most important. So this file, editor config is, I don't know what is it. Uh, it's not important as far as I see. Then there are uh, four entries related to Git, uh, like repository data, ignore, etc. These two files are also, I don't know what related to what, and they are not that important. Then VS code uh, folder contains some configurations to be used by the Visual Studio code, the editor that the developers of the BotPress recommend to use to develop BotPress. Then this folder bench contains some load tests of the server or benchmarks using art artillery framework. This folder build contains the Docker file of the server and uh, the utility for building of the modules and scripts for the WordPress server building in the binary uh, using Gulp. Gulp is a framework for uh, automation. Then changelog MD file contains the description of the current version of the WordPress and the previous versions of the WordPress server. There is uh, its content. Then this uh, commit lint config.js is the configuration of the code checker that happens on the commit. Uh, then docs folder contains the documentation on how to upload the documentation in Amazon S3 and uh, how to build a Docker image. And there are some sources of something for the website in here. I'm not sure what, what is it. But this is not used for the WordPress server execution. This is something separate. Then examples folder contains examples of the code for custom UI component for the web chat uh, and uh, some examples of usage of OAuth for the user authentication uh, and examples of interaction between two bots. Also, it has an example of creation of a custom WordPress module, which is uh, also useful for some guys. Gulp file GS is an entry point for the Gulp scripts. These scripts are used to automate the build process. Icon PNG is, oops, is the icon of the WordPress server. And you can see it uh, here in the admin panel of the WordPress. Okay, then just config GS is a configuration of the unit test framework named Jest. License contains uh, the license of the BotPress server. It's basically uh, GNU uh, by default if you download it from the uh, GitHub. Then licenses uh, folder contains uh, the same license like GPL one and also it contains a custom WordPress license that is used to distribute uh, paid version of the WordPress. Modules folder contains the source code of the modules. Uh, this is like initial source code not yet built. During the server build process these modules are also built into some other format and then this resulting format is used by the running WordPress server. Uh, there are some modules uh, that are hidden using dot prefix. They are not yet ported from the version 10 to version 11 of the WordPress. Uh, these modules uh, that are not uh, hidden are working in the WordPress 11. Package JSON file is uh, an entry point for the node package. So this explains how to build the WordPress server into one final package. This file 
PKG something is a utility for the server packaging. Uh, so it's basically an archive uh, that contains the utility. Then proposal MD, I'm not sure what is it. So it's empty for now, contains some placeholder only. Readme file is the file that is just um, that is displayed when you open the WordPress repository on the GitHub. Okay, this script release version .sh is uh, a script for make, making a release according to Git flow in the Git repository. So it makes changes in the Git repository when the release is happened. Uh, SRC folder contains the source code of the WordPress server, excluding the source code of the modules that are is contained over here. I'll tell more about the structure of the SRC folder a bit later. TS lin JSON uh, contains configuration of the code style checking. Uh, it's some rules for the lint checker. And the yarn log is a file that uh, is automatically generated by yarn utility during the downloading of the uh, source uh, of the dependencies, dependent uh, mod node modules. So you don't edit it manually. It's uh, generated based on the content of package JSON. And there are some more uh, folders uh, that are creating during the build of the server. Basically, I show you what is it. We have this data folder here that contains the bots that are created. If you run the server from the source code, uh, also, it contains uh, these node modules folder that contains downloaded dependencies. They are downloaded uh, when you run yarn uh, utility uh, within this folder. Out folder contains the built uh, source codes of the server. Basically, um, these are like GS files that are accompanied by TS files uh, that contains the in initial source code, but only these GS files are executed. And uh, there is a folder uploads. I suppose it contains some data uploaded uh, during the boat creation, but haven't checked it by myself. Okay, uh, we'll get back to the SRC folder and speak about uh, the contents of this folder. The BP folder contains the classes, types, and other code of the WordPress server. Uh, and typings folder contains uh, just some of the types that are used by this uh, BP code. You see here are just a few files here. So the major part of, of the code uh, is within the BP folder. TS config file uh, contains the configuration of the TypeScript compiler. So it basically defines how and what should be taken from the BP and put into out folder during the compilation of the TypeScript into GS. Okay. And uh, this BP folder contains uh, some subfolders. I'll tell about. Um, subfolders and some files here. So the folder common uh, contains the code of authentication, default roles, etc. The core folder contains a lot of uh, actual code of the WordPress server. It contains all the services and uh, many other codes. So the major part of code is here. And uh, I'll tell about the WordPress classes that WordPress has about the services uh, in a separate video. Then ML folder contains uh, the machine learning algorithms that are taken, by the way, from the third-party repositories. Uh, they are added as sub-modules uh, to the uh, WordPress. So you can see it here. Here are they. Okay, let's get back. 
pro folder is empty and it's also mapped to a submodule. Uh, I suppose it contains some uh, code uh, for the pro version, like implementation of some interface interfaces that are available only in the pro version. Yeah, it's a closed repository, private one. Then SDK folder contains the SDK for Botrest modules creation. UA admin folder contains the code of the admin UI. And uh, UI studio folder contains the code of the Botrest studio UI. This vanilla folder contains only one file. It's the schema for the Botrest server configuration JSON file. Yeah, I'll check if I can, can show you what it is. Just wait a second. Yeah, here is the botpress config file in the build uh, server. And the file within the vanilla folder describes the structure of this config file. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the entry point to the server code is uh, this index.ts file. It's a TypeScript file that starts the execution of the botpress server. And I'll tell about this file and other source files in more details in uh, another video. Thank you.